If we are to address gender-based violence, we must proceed from the understanding that we are human beings. And hence you will find in the uh, history of the evolution of society that there was a time of uh, polyandry when uh, uh, the females had many men. And, and at some point that changed. And I want to focus on where we are today. Where we are today, uh, we, <clears throat> we live in a society that has, over the ages, inherited these stereotypes that uh, all of that is imparted uh, to generate from one generation to the next generation. But essentially, we remain human beings. All the stereotypes that women can do this and so on, uh, when that happens, when they outperform, uh, because they are human beings, uh, all, uh, you know, <coughs> gifted with all the attributes of a human being. And so they will outperform uh, a male partner at some point in, in, in a whole range of uh, tests. And when that happens, if we are not enlightened enough to understand we are but human beings, uh, that may cause trauma, it may cause other difficulties. Taking liquor and committing gender-based violence, that's not a good enough excuse. It's not an excuse at all. You do that Precisely because you want cover, you want an excuse, uh, so that you, you, the message should not be communicated, you should not be aware, you are, you are quite aware that this is wrong, but in order to do it, let me dull my senses, and so raise the threshold, and, and so you engage in acts that do not make sense at all. We pledge therefore, one, not to look away, not to be bystanders, and not to be silent. So to play a role in our personal, professional, and leadership capacities to stop rape of all kinds, sexual violence, the killing and abuse of women and children, domestic violence of all kinds, abuse and violations of people with disabilities and violence of all kinds. As a Malawian man, as a Malawian man, we want to express our collective condemnation. We want to express our collective condemnation of this act of violence. Of this act of violence. Perpetrated in our backyards. Perpetrated in our backyards. In our communities. In our communities and our beloved country and in our beloved country and send our deepest condolences and send our deepest condolences to those who have lost loved ones to those who have lost loved ones in the hands of criminals in the hands of criminals and pledge us and pledge us no women no, no women no children no, no children, children shall harm 